I'm gonna make a quick video here, real quick, why I haven't been posting predictions like I said I was is pretty much Thanksgiving happened, I had family over, so there was that, and then I had to get ready for um, exams, and then here's Christmas, it's my birthday literally, Tuesday, so I thought, now that all of that is out of the way, school is pretty much done in, for Christmas break, and once it starts up again, I'll still be able to post videos, so I'm going to start now. So what I have here is a pretty much a bomb timer for Counter-Strike GO. It will tell you once a bomb planted is planted, it will count down and show you how many seconds you have left to defuse the bomb. This this is pretty much a borderline cheat, really. If you use it in casual and maybe just casual matchmaking, I really don't see it being that much of a disturbance. No one's going to know you have it unless you like declare and even though you probably won't won't get Overwatch ban and you can't get VAC ban from this. So pretty much, uh, I have the Reddit post here by Lang Dal. Lang Dal. Apparently he's global elite, and he says, Using the new game state integration, I made a bomb timer that you can put your second on your second screen. Feedback is feedback appreciated. So pretty much, it's a Python program. So for, I'll leave a link to the Reddit post here. First, you're going to want to click this. I already have it open here. And you're going to want to download the zip, the zip file. I already downloaded that. I have the uh, folder here. Let me see. This is what you'll get. You'll um, extract it, and this will, will be in the folder. So we'll put that aside. So you can go ahead and close this. Next, you're going to want to install Python. He said you want, I believe, 3.5 and up. I did not have the latest version. So what you can do to check that is go here, CMD. Right-click, run it as administrator. I don't really know if you have to run it as administrator for this. I do anyways. And you can type Python dash V up, and it should tell you the version. For me, I have 3.5.1, so I am good. If you have something lower or you do not have Python installed, go ahead and go to python.org and just go ahead to downloads. And I don't even need, know why I need to show you this. There's the download right there. That's all you really need to do. Now from here is the hard part. You're going to want to go into, um, actually first we'll move the file that is in the folder. As you can see here, you, you're going to want to go and listen, the listener folder, and you will have this here CFG file. This has to go in your Counter-Strike Go, Go folder. You don't have to execute it in Counter-Strike Go. So to get your, to your Counter-Strike fo folder, you'll just go ahead and go to your list and games um, properties local files browse local files and then from here you'll go to config nope that's absolutely wrong Con counter strike go and then config cfg my bad here is where you're going to want to drag it i think i already put it in here let me see yeah i'll just replace it doesn't really matter and once that's in there you can close this folder keep this one open go back here now, you can't just run it right away. You have to install some packages into Python. You can do this by going into CMD, and you'll write PIP install flask. Install that. Now, I already have these installed, so nothing's probably going to pop up. Here we go. Already satisfied. There we go. Next is you have to install ticker, however you pronounce that. PIP install T I K I N T E R and collecting. T See, I got this error before, but apparently I already had it installed, so it's absolutely okay. And next will be PIP install request. And then requirements already satisfied. That means I've already have these downloaded and it will install for you. All you have to do is type those commands in. I'll put those into the description as well. Next, you just have to run the go timer. You can go ahead and close this now. Walk over here and hit run go timer, the bat file here. And it will pretty much run the Python script for you and you'll get this little little box here. Don't close either of these or we'll close both. So let me minimize these and pull up CSGO so you can see how this works. We'll just go in a casual game really quick and try it. Just go plant. Plant A site. Let him plant. Thank you. Alright, let me defuse it with one second remaining. 
Let me diffuse it with one second remaining. This demonstration is the best. All right, as you can see, there's 30 seconds. It's counting down. And we'll try to diffuse it with 0. .0 seconds remaining. Let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. A few seconds. And diffuse. We got it. And you can see that's how the program works. We had 0. 0.2 seconds remaining. I'm glad I got to show how this program actually worked. And if everyone would shut up, I can hear myself think. Here we go. Let me unplug that. So pretty much, that's how the program works. Once you install it, you can have it on a second monitor like I do. Or you can play in windowed mode and suffer with low FPS. You, the decision is yours, and just play with this how you want. Just be careful. I wouldn't use it in like a professional match, but I doubt any of you are pros watching my video. Anyways, if you found this helpful or I helped you in any ways, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'm a sellout. Thanks. Diffusing.